good evening everyone uh, i'm satish i'm the co-founder of potmes uh, i'm a recovering acute person and today i'm going sorry today i want to tell you uh, a pressing social issue uh, i mean don't worry i'm not saying about nuclear arms or uh, something else i'm saying about uh, fake certificates uh fake certificates means i mean in our society we are seeing so many fake certificates of fake experienced candidates are uh, living and uh, doing their unworthy candidates who are uh, sorry sorry this is the thing yeah certificate faking and the proper background verification is in the short term are the two major issues facing in uh, to ma- by many companies recent survey conducted by the hr department found 83% hrs recognized uh, fake certificates of span of 3 3 years imagine an inexperienced candidate unworthy candidate wasting your company's time and money by hiding his un- uh, true capabilities with the fake certificates uh, that's why we, we decided to make an application which is used to uh, avoid the fake certificate for that we are from the last few months uh, we are working on the platform which is which is more transparent efficient and uh, secure uh, secure sorry i am in little bit nervous yeah yeah you are practice your pitch here and nobody is going to get you yeah ஒர்க் <laughs> 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 to migrate the problem to maximum extent a robust verification system which is transparent secure is one of the best reasonable solution safi be provides the transparency and security through the blockchain based applications blockchain based uh, verification application systems which can validate the capability of the person within a few click, few clicks uh, when we decided to uh, do this project we listed a few objectives uh, which are first one is to create a highly secure decentralized application for the universities companies uh, matrimonials and e-learning platforms and the second one is we decided to make an application and easy to act, easy and accurate verification system which is helpful to the companies and the third point is uh, a platform a, a platform for the corporate companies to do the background verification in the less time in low cost and the main motive is to avoid the fake certificate that is also the fourth point that we uh listed in our objective and coming to how it works uh, it will works in the four steps the first step is uh, companies or the colleges can create or uh, add the uh, add the employer student data to the blockchain and then he can upload the certificates and documents to the blockchain then track information with the unique id we can create to the each employer student then with that id we can get the information from the blockchain so that's why it can work work properly uh then coming to the market size many companies over the world uh, sp- spending an average of 4.95 billion dollars every year on every year on just the employee background verification and according to the survey conducted by the alien networks uh, it going to be a 9.92 billion dollars by the 2028 it's true it's a very huge one, huge amount but uh, they don't have a choice that's why we decided to make a one more choice for us one more choice with us with the cipher b and the cipher b target i mean in the researching process cipher b know the know that uh, there are so many ways to go to the market by with these people i mean these are my target people who are corporate companies e learning platforms subscription based products matrimonial companies and universities 
coming to the co competitors and barrier to entry true scholar and unidas unidas and oddbridge are the main competitors for us uh, true scholars generate the certificates on the blockchain but they are not doing any verification related things unidas is the student verification system uh, for the third i mean it's a third party application which are, i mean who is using is uh, apple and related uh, companies are using this application because uh, in some times they are giving uh, some subscription based uh, offer like uh, apple providing uh, and their, their uh, macbook at 999 dollars at that place they are verifying the student data so that uh, they some people are misusing those uh, offers and things right so that's why people are uh, people are faking the company so that we are, we are providing a solution to the apple or i mean i'm not saying apple so off, offers who are giving like this offers we are providing a solution with this uh, they can easily track the student uh, is really student or is really capable to claim the offers or not and all this to the cypher suit this is all about our revenue model and after that we are go to plan, go to market plan uh, this is this is the go to market plan uh, uh, we are planning to recruit the campus ambassadors from the each college to register in the i mean campus ambassadors to promote our product on the college and to stay, making stable connection with the colleges and in the second part, second uh, plan is to go uh, go to the approach uh, approach to low tier companies and low tier colleges escalate the approach to top top tier colleges and universities and then conducting the companies to bring awareness on the blockchain adva blockchain advantages and the importance of the data privacy and security and till now uh, it's our traction till now we have completed our research process poc process and we have completed mvp also uh, next month or uh, mean next month first week or this month last week we are going to launch our product to the ma uh, market and doing the trial run and we are also giving the demos to the call demos to colleges and companies also getting positive response from uh, everywhere uh, and as we as we said like before cypher suit na uh, we are planning to launch this cypher suit features with the product uh, on the 2023 before june uh, cypher suit means uh, it will it, this suit provides uh, some additional features to the companies which means uh, companies doing something like uh, agreements with the uh, other companies or agreements with the employ uh, employees or students right uh, these kind of agreements will be held on the blockchain so in this way we can go through that uh, i mean we are going to implement the feature on that uh, cypher suit and so many features like coming coming to the uh, under cy cypher suit through this uh, through through cypher b and we are target to spread our wings and wings to entire country by the 2024 may and planning to make a strong and secure application and this is our team uh, we are the team of four and we are all are know each other from the last eight years we are technically strong and we are all are like minded people investment and the use of funds um, uh, we, are, we are going for the preceding funding uh, in that uh, that funding will be used in use it to improve the current mvp and mvp with the additional features we need resources such as developers and workspace to start initial marketing we are planning to cover the as many as target audience all the all the investment 65% of the pre-seed funding goes to the product development and 35% funding to allocate to the marketing. Oh, excuse me, pardon me, one thing, you're out of your time. Now time for Q&A session. Yeah, sure. Okay. It's done. What is this pre-seed funding? Oh, please. Sorry? No, what is this? Oh, no, 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 I, I only know only. Uh, funding before the seed stage, I mean. We are now at MVP stage, sir. Uh, before, I, I mean, before launching the product, we are go, uh, raising a fund is called the seed funding. Uh, three seed funding means uh, before launching the product and uh, before completing the product between stages, na that that is called the pre pre seed stage. Like yeah, uh, not angel. It's like uh, bootstrapping type. Bootstrapping is putting a wrong. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
So how does uh, decentralization actually help actually aid uh, verification of documents? Uh, actually, decentralized means uh, when we upload the certificates to the any server. I mean, I'm talking about the traditional databases. When we upload the certificate to the traditional databases, it will be stored in the particular server. There might be chances to breach the data, or uh, there might be chances so anyone can access the data if any weak passwords with uh, or any something else. Uh, I mean, miscellaneous things now. That's why they can misuse the tra from the tra traditional databases. If we use the blockchain, the data which we uploaded to the blockchain, it will be saving as a hash. Saving as a hash. No one can, uh, no one can decrypt that. And also, we are using so many ciphers between that. I mean, while uploading the data to the block, I mean, while taking the data and still uploading the data to the blockchain, in these between process, we are doing so much of. Uh, encryptions these are called ciphers so by using blockchain we can eliminate that process of data breaches and uh, fast accessing we can achieve that so you're saying that uh, data cannot be manipulated yeah it yeah it's a completely immutable once it's storing stored in a blockchain never no one can access it i mean no one can replace it anyone can update but no one can uh, replace so what blockchain platform are you using uh, actually, we are using Bitget and uh, Ethereum also. In the testing purpose, we are using Ethereum, but in the final stage, uh, I mean, before going to the production, we have put it in that uh, Bitget. But Ethereum and Solana have already been hacked, right? Yeah, hacked. Ethereum. Yeah, yeah. So, hacked the network. Okay. Ethereum 2.0 has a more security and uh, they are implemented more uh, configurations to uh, avoid the hacking and related things. Get license of those systems, or how do you get access to those? It's open source network, Ethereum and Bitget, uh, Solana. These are the open source networks built on the. I mean, these are the uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, like you heard before, like uh, Bitcoin. I think you know, all, all the people get know, sir. Uh, like uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana also like blockchain networks. We can uh, openly take it. How many such similar organizations exist in India right now? Uh, exact with the exact idea, with the exact idea, no one will uh, there, sir. But related to like, uh, if I say before now, uh, storing storing to the blockchain uh, process, they are using. I mean, True Scholar is there for the companies means I'm uh, registration. No, no, I'm talking about the same model hmm? which you're trying to build right now. Hmm? Exactly, I don't know, but two or three companies uh, this. Are you being uh, anywhere? Yes, sir. I, we are incubated in uh, AU incubation center. And, uh, how is it uh, Digilocker is storing the certificates only, sir. But we are storing the certificates and as well as we are sending the certificates to the companies. I mean, if we, if we one student can upload the certificates to the blockchain, uh, when uh, while he's joining to the new company, he don't want to send his certificates. He can send that uh, unique ID. Then then they can uh, verify that. This verification also done by the colleges that also. If this student or uh, his old student or not is coming from that university or not. This verification is coming from that uh, old colleges also. You're saying this is safer than clouds? Yeah, exactly. Sure. 
ஒரு <laughs> that uh, that link will be gone from gone gone to the college and college will be verified that after that only it will be visible to companies and it's verified by the college but in the process where the college is uh, how do you bring them on board it's not mandatory i don't want to join your network uh, at that process we are using email email verification i mean in our system automatically yeah, but unless my party unless they are monetized we should they uh, confirm the student belongs to them or not sorry so sir should they why should the colleges do this work for you uh, for getting the people uh, jobs na i mean agency or a private body now we should like uh, yeah i mean our motive is to reduce the cost to the companies companies if, if you if companies use this platform uh, colleges necessarily use it is there any regulation or is there any government approval for you to do all these things such kind of regulatory driven uh, thing is there okay people who join yes no but you are not a regulatory approved body or government approved body why should the colleges come and uh, join this thing and certify that you are approved yeah. and certified yeah. approved yeah. body yeah. 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 Yeah.